Welcome back to a survivor's guide to this war of mine. Today we will be going over the Shelled School. The school has two possible scenarios, one where the homeless have taken it over, and one where the rebels have taken it over. We'll start with the rebels as it's slightly more interesting. The rebels take up most of the location if they're there, so you can only go into the front stairwell and on the roof without technically trespassing. You are able to trade with them though by using the first floor landing, and they will take alcohol for decent rates, although their selection isn't necessarily the best. If you do want to take the people out, then it is worth having a stealthy character like Arika. This is a relatively difficult place to take out, but I have managed to work out a decent method that worked for me. First, when you arrive, head to the hiding spot on the first floor landing. When the guy comes out to trade, he'll be standing right in front of it, so you can get a good first kill, leaving him in the corridor where he won't be found. You can then wait for the room that he was in to be clear before heading in there and hiding in the hiding spot in that room. Eventually, one of two people will come up the ladder. One will go out to get some fresh air to the right, and the other one will walk to the left. Wait for each to go fully in their direction and then backstab them. As, at the furthest point of their paths, they are out of the range of the other one and so you won't be noticed. Now head to the basement. In here, there is one rebel patrolling back and forth on the top floor of these two basement floors. Wait for him in the first hiding place and you can easily take him out without anyone noticing. You then come across a second rebel sitting in one of the rooms. You can wait for him to begin to read, at which point he is distracted and you can easily take him out. Finally, there is a rebel in the back room smoking against some rubble. His back is against the ladder, so you can easily drop down and take him out. That just leaves the final person in the front room. I decided to full out attacker as I was running short on time, but there are a few good swings that you can do and eventually she just falls. Most of these rebels are holding guns and some have knives or armour, so it's a pretty good haul overall for your team, although you will take a morale hit for killing them. It is also possible to just steal from them. By going over the roof with Arika, you can get most of the good gear. The best gear is in the locked cupboard behind the trader though, and the best way to get that is to actually be caught and escape back over the roof. That pulls the trader away from the front door and gives you the perfect opportunity to steal from that cupboard. Remember to also grab the meds from under his bed while you're there. Besides that, there are a few other good things, including a locked cupboard at the back of the ground floor, which has some bullets and other things, and also some other stuff in the basement worth grabbing, including their fridge and medicine cabinet. Note that there is a locked door at the back of the basement. There is nothing useful behind it, and dropping it down afterwards can actually time lock you as it lands you behind some rubble that you then have to dig through. Now we'll move on to the homeless scenario. This one's relatively easy, as the homeless are quite harmless. You'll need a shovel and a couple of saw blades to get everything though. If you do that, you can find some interesting things in the desks of the kids, and have some cool stuff in the garden downstairs. The other looting spots here are basically used for materials, but it is a good place if you need to stock up on the basics. The only other thing of interest in the homeless scenario is that small box at the back of the basement. Normally the homeless people won't attack you, but if you look in there and take anything, they will fight you back to the death to get it back. Thankfully, they are not particularly threatening, and you can get a decent haul from this including meds, food and jewellery from their special little box. It's also worth noting that the other bed in this room has a note, which opens up a secret stash behind the fridge. And so that's the school! One of the more interesting locations if you ask me. Next time we'll be going over the other shelled location, the shelled cottage. Hopefully we'll be a bit simpler than this one to be honest. Please subscribe and like if you are enjoying these, and I will see you next time. Ta-ra.